Today I'm going to work on a request from a subscriber. She asked if I could show her how I would model wings on a heart-shaped pendant and I thought I would take the time to do that today. So what I've done is I've brought this image in and I'm going to rotate that RZ90 so we're looking at it straight down like this. And if I'm looking at this pendant, what I want to do is I want to design basically something that looks very similar to this wing. So we need to design a wing that will hold, you know, it'll 3D print well, and it has to have that basic shape some, similar to this. It's not that difficult. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a cube. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hide this right now. You can select it and press the H key and it'll hide it. And then uh, you can always come over here into your uh, collections tab and then unhide it with a little eyeball there. So I'm going to hide that again. So we're working. I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to add in a cube. I'm going to size that down to um, one millimeter by one millimeter by one millimeter. So we're working with a very small object. I'm going to scroll in here, zoom in. And what I want to do is make this a little bit bigger along the x-axis. So I'm going to hit the S key to size it, and then I will hit X to size it along the x-axis. Axis. <clears throat> so I get it to about that length. And now I want to make it a little bit wider um, along the y-axis. So I will hit S and then Y, and then I can make that just a little bit wider. And now I need to make something that's going to have the shape of a feather. And I'm making this about one millimeter thick. And the reason being is because in 3D printing, when you're going to get ready to cast this or print this for 3D printing, you have to be mindful of your capabilities of your printer. And things that are under half a millimeter tend not to print well. You have to accommodate for some shrinkage in your 3D printing and as well as your casting. So I'm just covering that now. So here's the basics of the start of our feather. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to rotate this around just so I'm looking at it like that. I will hit Control R to add in a loop cut. And I'm going to add it right there. I'm only going to add in one right now. I'm going to press the left mouse button twice. And I'm going to come over and select my edge tool here in the upper left corner. I'm going to grab this edge right like so. I'm going to pull that out so it makes the point similar to a feather. Now in this side, I'm going to hit Control R again. And I'm going to add in another loop cut, but I'm going to bring this one all the way down to about here. And I will click twice there. And now I'm going to loop cut the rest of this with maybe 50 loops. So I will hit Control R and then type in 50 and then press the left mouse button twice. And now you can see we have some depth to our uh, feather. There's some detail that we can work with in our feather. There's a reason I'm putting all these loop cuts in. You'll see in just a moment. With my edge cut selected and still in edit mode, I'm going to select this top edge just like so. I'm going to hold the shift and the alt key and then I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to zoom in here just like that. And you can see it grabs the entire loop all the way around just that one loop. And what I want to do with that loop is basically bring it up so that I have some detail in this feather just like that. Okay, I'm going to go back into object mode. Now we're looking at this feather and it looks relatively pointy like an arrow and it doesn't look much like a feather. But I am going to add on a modifier to this and we will come over to our little wrench here, which is our modifier tool. I'll add modifier and come down to subdivision surface. And I'm just going to give that two divisions and then I will apply it. <clears throat> now if we go back into edit mode. You can see we've detail this feather um, just a little bit of a rounded edge in the side we still have our flat edge in the back and I'm pretty happy with the shape overall back in the object mode let's look straight down on this and now I'm going to look at the feather picture so we're seeing what we're working with what I want to do now is take this particular feather that we've just created and I want to make these one two three four five six seven eight feathers all the way around and I, I need to do that in a couple of steps. So I'm going to hide the picture again. And I'm going to look at what I've got here. And if let's go back and look at the picture again. So if you'll notice, all these feathers have a bend in them. Right? And, and, and the bend, we can actually do on our model. You can do it a couple different ways. We can do it with a modifier and bend it. So if I come over to add modifier, there should be a, 
a way to, uh, there's a deform tool, mesh deform, and then we can choose how we want to deform it. So we select our object, and then we can select how we want to, to, to bend it or bind it. I'm, not, I'm actually not going to use that, so we'll just get rid of it. What I'm going to use instead is a tool that allows me to bend a mesh very simply. And for that, you need to have your 3D cursor, which is this red and white circle, in the center. And your model has to be on either side of it. And what we do is we go into edit mode. I'll hit A to select all. You might have to hit A twice. If you don't have anything selected, make sure it looks like that. We're going to come over and put our mouse cursor right over here. Again, here's our 3D cursor in the center, and our mouse cursor is right there. And I'm going to hit Shift W. And you'll see that little line goes from the center of the viewport to where our mouse cursor was. That allows me to bend it. And I can bend this feather up or down, and I can give it a sharp bend by moving it closer or a wider bend, however you want to do it. I'm going to give this a slight curve up, just like so. I'm going to click on the left mouse button and go to the other side now. And I'm going to hit A to make sure I have the model selected. Shift W again, and I'm going to bend this up. A, Shift W, and then I'll bend that up like so. Go back in the object mode, and I just want to make this wing or this feather just a little bit wider along the Y axis. So I'm going to hit S, Y, and I'm going to just make that a little bit wider, like so. I'm also going to duplicate it and hit Shift D, and then I'll press the G key, and then I'll just move my duplication right down here. And we'll work with that one in just a moment. So let's bring up our photo again. We're going to look at that right like so. And you'll notice we have small feathers on the bottom, and then we gradually get a little bit longer. I want the whole feather, no matter how I layer it, to be the length of our wing. So, for instance, this feather here is going to come all the way to there. But this short little feather is going to be just that. It's just going to be short. So let's hide this picture and we'll start modeling that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to start with the short feather. And we will size this along the x-axis. Sx, and I'm going to make that a little smaller. And I think that's a good starting point. Let's look at this from the top down again. I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Shift D and then G, and then I'm going to take this up and I'm going to put it right about here. And then I'm going to hit R to rotate and Z on my keypad or keyboard to rotate along the Z axis. And then once I've got that in a good shape that I like, I will hit S X to size that just about like so. The G key kind of move it over here like so, and maybe I want that RZ just a shade bit less, just about like so, G, and right about like so. Now let's duplicate that again, Shift D, then G, then move that over, RZ to rotate just a little bit, SX, I'm going to size that along the X axis. And then I'm just going to move it in place. Yes, X. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm making that bottom part of the, the feather. And we will hit Shift D, then G again. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. So S, X, right about like that. R, Z. And I'm just going to kind of flip it up just a little bit like so. And what I'm trying to do is just basically mimic the bottom part of this wing and then I'm going to work on these feathers here. So here is our last feather that we copied. I'm going to size that up just a little bit. S Shift Z so I don't size it thicker. I'm making it a little bit bigger. I'm going to take that. I'm going to move it right about here. I'm going to rotate this along the Z axis. I am looking straight down at this and I'm going to use the G key to move it. RZ, and you can see I'm just kind of rotating it ever so slightly and then moving it into position just like so. So far, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Now I'll Shift D to duplicate that. G, I'm going to move that up like so. RZ, SX, I'm going to move that in like so. 
Let's rotate that just a little bit more, about like so. Then bring this down just a tad. Bring that down just a tad. SX. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. And then I'm going to hit Shift D G. I'm going to make another one. And SX. We're going to make that a little longer. RZ to rotate it along the Z axis. And then G just to place it where I'd like it. Shift D G. And then I'm going to make another one right about here. SX will size it along the X axis. RZ just to rotate it so it gives us more of a wing look. And I'm kind of liking that. So there's the beginning of our wing. And I've got one layer done. If you look at this, I've got this um, relatively nice. It might be a little thinner than I like, so I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I'm going to select all of these, hit S, and then Z to size this along the Z axis. I'm just going to make it a little thicker, just like so. Okay, so looking straight down at this again, so here's the, here's the view of our wing, and this would be the larger portion of our feathers right along here. So the next step I have to do is make this section of feathers. Now this section of feathers is going to be a little bit higher level or layer than the original. So what I want to do is pick four feathers, basically copy the four feathers off of our existing set of eight, and then I will drag them into place and then just place them above the height of the first row of feathers. So let's hide this. That's hidden. And I'm going to take this feather here, or I'm going to take, uh, let's see, one, hold the shift key down, two, and use. I'm using the left mouse button to select four feathers. I've got them. I'm going to hit shift D and then G, and I'm going to move those right over here. Now I'm going to make those a little bit thicker, so I'll hit SZ to size those up ever so slightly. And from the side view, I want to make these about the same level as our first row of feathers. I'm going to hit the 7 key on my keypad so I'm looking straight down. Don't forget you can use the tilde key. That's the key next to the 1 on the keypad if you're using a notebook computer. The tilde key will bring up this menu and you can look at top, front, left, right. This is basically the same thing however you want to do it. Access, I'll hit R and then Z and then I can rotate them just about like so. Actually I'm going to rotate them like this first. Hit S X and I'm going to shorten them ever so slightly. Then I will rotate them along the Z axis like so. And G, I'm going to move them right over here just like that. That gives us, if we look at our feathers, gives us a second row of feathers in our design. And if I want to make those a little bit higher, I can just use the shift key while I select each of those four feathers and I could just drag them up a little bit more so there's a little more definition, just like so. So let's move on to the next step. The next is to look at our winged pendant again. And if we bring that back, you can see we have this set of seven feathers. And these seven feathers are basically going to uh, be a little shorter, but they're going to come down just to about here. And how I'm going to do that is just like this. I'm going to select the bottom seven feathers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to hit Shift D and then hold the, hit the G key to move, and I'll move those out of the way. I'm going to look at this from the side view, and I want to raise those up just a little bit. I'm going to size those on the z-axis, S, Z, and I'm going to make those a little bit thicker, just about like so. And from the top view, hit the 7 on my keyboard. Now I want to make these very small. So from the top, I'm going to select them, and I'm going to hit S, Shift, Z. So now I'm going to size those. Oh, we want to make it. Okay, let's hit S, X, and I'm going to size them to about like so. And I'm getting a little space in here, but that's okay because our model is going to work out fine. 
And let's go back to top view and then G and I'm going to overlay that just about like so. And I'm still getting lost. So S, X, now I'm going to bring those in just about like that. S, Z, and I'm just going to size them until I'm comfortable with how that looks. <clears throat> R, Z, and I'm going to rotate that to about like so. I'm going to bring this in about like that. And it's a little high, so let's bring this down and then size it, S, Z, and I'm going to size this up just about like so. I'm going to size this along the y-axis, and I'm just playing until I get the look that I want. 7, G, and R, Z. Just about like that. And I'm pretty happy with that look. That, that's not a bad look for a, a winged feather. You can make it, you know, any way you want. Just, you know, be conscious of what you're doing. Okay, so that is our model, and it's not quite done yet. Let's go look at the picture. And if you can see on the picture, we have this little frame here. And I like that frame because it gives us a base, especially if we're, we're going to add this on as a separate item or cast it individually if we wanted to cast wings. Um, we can do that. Um, but it gives it some detail. You know, maybe it's like the tendon of the wing that, that you're seeing. But we want to add that little texture to our model. So how do we do that? That's pretty simple. Let's hide this again. Okay guys, so with all of our feathers selected, and I'm just going to grab them and select them, make sure that all you have are your feathers. And all of mine are called cubes. We're just going to just leave it at that. I'm going to hit Control J, which joins those as one model. And you can see it's called cube 18 here, and I'm just going to change that to feather. And we will leave it at that. And now I want to go and model that little piece that, I, that we had here. And that's going to be a very simple add-on to this mesh. And I will do Shift A, and I'm going to add in a cube. I'm going to size this cube down to about two millimeters square. And take my feather, I'm going to hide that wing. And now what I'm going to do is hit S, Y. I'm going to drag this along the Y to make it bigger. Um, again, this is about two millimeters, which is okay for what we're working with. Let's uh, hit, let's make this a little shorter, S, Y, just about like so. I'm going to make this a little taller, S, Z, just going to scale it up a little bit. And then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller in general, S, X, I'm just going to make it thin. Okay, so that's about what I'm looking for, that kind of a, a shape. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to look at this from the side and press control R to add in a bunch of loop cuts. I think here I'll just use my scroll wheel. You can scroll up and down until you're happy. When you're happy, press the left mouse button twice. Now I've locked in those loop cuts. I'll go back into object mode. I'm going to look at this from the top down. And I want to basically make this, I don't know, let's shorten this up, S, Y. And I want to take this. I'm going to move it down to about here. And we're going to use that bend tool, but you remember, it, it bends from where this red and white circle is. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to hit A for all with my cursor here. I'll hit Shift W, and then I'll bend it over. And I'm going to give this a relatively sharp bend. Yeah, well, let's leave that off for now. Let's bring in our feather, and let's take a look at what our feather looks like. <clears throat> Let's take our feather and let's move it right about here. I'm going to rotate this along the z-axis so that we get it something about like that. Okay, so we move our wing to where we want it and I think that's a pretty good place. I'm just going to move this down just a little bit, just about like so. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bend this little arch just like so. We're going to select it, go into edit mode. I'm going to put my cursor right here. Hit Shift W, and then I'm going to move it and bend it about like, if we can get that, about like so. That looks good. Okay, so I've got that. And now I'm going to do is move this whole system up. So I'm going to hold that down, use the Shift key, 
and grab both of these items and I'm just going to move it up to about here so that my red and white cursor is now in the middle of this part of that little bend. I'm going to select that little bar that we made. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode and I'm going to put my 3D cursor right here, my mouse cursor, hit shift W and now I'm just going to give this a slight bend to give it a little bit of a texture, a little bit of a, an archway. With that done now I can go into side view and then we can see what our little thing looks like here and it's kind of short, doesn't match the overall thickness of the wing and that's what I want to have here so I'm going to hit SZ and just make that a little bit thicker. Go back into side view, uh, maybe look at it from that side and I think that gives us a good frame. I'm just going to lower it to about here. So there is our one wing. It's not quite perfect but I think if you wanted to take the time to model your own uh, wings you could do that relatively easy and it's not very difficult to do. I think the next thing I'll do is join these two together. So I'll hold down the feathers that we created. I'm going to hold down this ridge and I'm going to hit Control J to join them. And now that whole piece is one piece and it's still called a cube. So we're going to relabel that wing. <clears throat> okay, so now that's selected. I'm going to hide this picture one more time. And I am going to do this. I kind of like the position of that. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to hit the right mouse button and set origin to center of volume. I'm going to hit shift or hit shift S and I'm going to say selection to cursor which puts it in the middle of the screen. And now with that wing or feather selected I'm going to hit control A to align the rotation and scale. That's done. So with that done, I've got my left side wing all set. It's perfect. And I'm going to save that. So I'm going to save this as a blend file. Save as. And we will put it on our desktop. And I'm just going to call this left. Well, we could just call it wing one and save. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to hide this now. And I'm going to basically make a heart. So the heart's pretty simple. To do a heart, and I'm just going to make a simple heart here. I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to go to Mesh and then I'm going to go to Circle. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it down to 30 millimeters each so that it is 30 millimeters in diameter. Again, we can size our whole model afterward, but that's about what I'm going to work with. And if we go into Edit Mode and we select our Vertices tool here, you can see I've got vertices here and I'm going to grab this and move it down and try to make a heart and that looks terrible. So I can model this and just kind of grab each one, maybe, you know, let's see, grab this one, do that and try to model a heart. That's the hard way of doing it. So I know I've showed you this before. I'm going to use the perspective editing tool which is right here on the top of our screen. We have, we have a magnet tool and a perspective editing tool. So I'm going to come down here. I am going to select sharp point just like so. I'm going to turn that on and now I'm going to grab this vertice right here. I'm going to hold this arrow with my left mouse button down and you can see there's a little circle on the screen. If I make that circle a little larger you can see what I'm getting. I'm getting a, a kind of a point of a heart just like so. Okay that's not so bad. Now I'm going to grab this vertice down here and I'm going to move that straight down and get this basic shape of a heart, just like that. Okay, so there is the shape of our heart. Let's look at this from the top again. Maybe I want to make this a little wider, so I'll make it wider along the X axis, which is the red line. So I'll hit S and then X and then I can make it a little wider, or a little narrower, however you want to do it. And I think that looks pretty good. And now I want to give this some depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select all with the A key. And then I'm going to hit the F key on the keypad, which will put a face on that whole thing right there. I'm going to come over and grab the face tool, the face select tool right here. I'm going to select this one particular face. 
we're going to hit extrude and then Z, E, and Z. And then I can move this straight up, just like that. That looks pretty good. Now if we look at this in object mode, we can see it's about 5 millimeters thick. So I don't know if that's too thick, but we're going to leave it there for now. And I want to give this a little bit more detail. Okay, so with this heart selected in an edit mode, I'm going to come over and I'm going to select my edge tool right here. I'm going to select this edge just like that. Hold the shift and the alt key together and grab the one next to it. It should grab the entire perimeter. Now I'm going to hit control B. Control B on your key pit or keyboard will give you the bevel tool. So I'm going to add in a bevel and it's really not a good bevel. So we're going to cancel that. I'm going to go back into object mode with the heart selected. I'm going to hit control A and I'm going to apply the rotation and scale. Now I'm going to go back into edit mode and you can see I still have that loop all the way around. And now if I apply, if I apply the bevel tool, control B, I get a much nicer bevel and you can use your mouse wheel to kind of curve that up and that's kind of what I want to do. I want to give it a nice little curve to the top so that it looks like that. And now I'm going to look at the bottom here. I'm going to select this edge here. I'm going to hold the shift and the alt key. I'm going to grab the next one next to it. And I will do the same. Control B. And I'm going to move that up just like so but not as high like this. We're just going to give it the bottom of it a little bit of a bevel so that our model looks like this. With that done, I can go to smooth shading and that looks pretty good. If you wanted to give this a subdivision surface modifier now, you could actually make it look a little bit nicer. So I will do that and then hit apply. And now our heart looks very, very nice. Even if I go to shade flat, we still have a very, very nice heart. From the top view, I'm going to right click on this and set the origin to center of mass and then hit shift S and put selection to cursor. It brings it back in the center of the screen. Well, that's how we've got our heart. And the next thing I need to do is put a ring on the heart. If we look at the picture of our model here, let's hide this particular. Oh, we'll Let's see, this right here, let's call this heart. I'm going to hide that. And if you look at the picture of our pendant, we have this little loop right about here. And very easy to add that loop into your model. So let's hide this picture. And we will bring back, we don't need our wing. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring back our heart. Let's look at the top here. Well, let's hide our heart one more time. We don't need to see that for this. I'm going to hit shift a and I'm going to add in a mesh and we're going to add in a torus and now on this torus we're going to come down and we are going to give this uh, minor cuts we're going to say 36 and you can see right now it's uh, it's rather large so I'm going to make this 30 millimeters and I'm going to make the minor radius 10 millimeters and that's still kind of thick so we can play with this number here, the 10, and get that to about here. That looks pretty good for what I want to do. I'm liking that. It's eight millimeters thick. So this is a very, very big item. We want to size this down. Let's bring in our heart for the perspective. There's our heart. Let's size this down just about like so. And now I'm going to bring this over Oops, let's grab our torus here. Let's bring it through just like so. From the top down, I'm gonna bring it in just like that. And you can see if we look at it from the side view, it's buried within our heart and it protrudes from the top. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna grab our heart. I'm gonna hold the shift key down. I'm gonna grab this torus that we just made. I'm gonna come over to my edit tools down to Boolean and then Union, those two. So now our heart and the torus are now one. It's called torus. We're going to rename this heart. And that is how we make that little heart shape. Again, I can size this along the x-axis to make it thinner or thicker, however I want to do it. 
Um, so far, so good. That's about what I want. Okay. Now let's bring in our wing. And there's our wing. I'm going to make our heart a little bit smaller because it's rather large. And I'm going to put in just about like so. And now I want my wing to basically attach to the side of the heart. And to do that, I can just move it. I can look at it from the top and then use the G key and kind of move it wherever I want. And then RZ and rotate it. And then bring that up again with the G key and I can kind of do that. And that would give me a good shape. And I can make this a little thicker if I want. SZ and then just kind of bring that up a little bit just like so. And that gives me a heart with one wing. The problem is this heart needs to be duplicated on the other side. So how do I do that? Well, I've got my, I've got the angle at which I like. Um, I could change that. I can rotate it along the z-axis and bring it over here, then bring it down like that. And that's not a bad look, look for this either. So no matter where you want to put it, just get it aligned where you want it. And I'm going to rotate that again, RZ, and just kind of bring it over here. And I kind of like this look myself. So I want my heart pendant to look basically like that. I've got that set now, so I'm going, to, I'm going to come down here and select my wing. I'm going to hit Control A and apply the rotation to scale one more time. And now here's the trick. I'm going to hit Shift S. I'm going to move that back in the center. I'm going to look straight down at our model. With our wing selected, not the heart, I'm leaving the heart on the screen, but with our wing selected, I'm going to come over and I'm going to apply a mirror modifier to that. So we're going to come over to Add Modifier come down to mirror and it, you can mirror it along the X, Y, or Z axis, however you want to do it. And if I do this in object mode, you see it just moves it both, but it doesn't move it where I want it. So I'm going to press control Z to go back. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode, make sure that your wing is selected. And now when I move this over, you can see the other wing moves with it. So I've got it right there, and now I'm going to move it up to about here. I want this a little farther out, just about like so. I think that looks really nice, personally. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go back into object mode. And there is our pendant, just the way I wanted to model it. And I'm going to apply this modifier. So I'm going to hit Apply All. And now we have two wings one on each side of our heart. Now it's time to join these together. So I'm going to select the wings and both of them are selected. I'm going to hold the shift key, press the heart, and now I will use the control J to join those two. So now we have one piece that is a heart pendant. I'm going to go ahead and save this file, save. I'm going to save as, and I'm going to call this, uh, wing 2 just because I can. So now I want to show my customer what it's going to look like and to do that I can make a rendered image of this. Okay so that's about what our pendant's going to look like and we can see how it's it kind of it kind of looks similar to our pendant in the picture but not quite. Again use your artistic talent to model a wing that you want the way you want it. Okay, that's that for this part. And then the next thing we want to do is use our slicer. So if you have a, if you have any of the Sheetu Box Slicer 3D printers, the next thing we would do is open up our slicer. And I will import, oh, we got an update. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to open up our object that we just saved. So go ahead and bring that in. And we've got wing2.obj. There it is. And I'm going to rotate this along the z-axis 90 degrees. I'm going to rotate this like that. And I can print it like this if I want to. Or I can print this at a 45 degree angle. We come down here and I do 45. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select my wing. 
I'm going to add in my supports. I'm going to hit uh, platform and all. I think that looks really well. And I'm going to come back over to my selection here. Go to settings and select my printer. I think for this one I'm going to use the Frozen Sonic. This is a... Uh, Okay, it's all sliced up. It's going to take about an hour and a half to print, so I'm going to save this out to my memory stick. And it is frozen. And we will call this Wing 2 and hit save. Let that save out. Okay, we're all saved. I'm going to go ahead and check this and go print it, and I will be back, guys. So here is the print results. This is from the uh, Sonic Mini Mono, and this printed in about an hour and a half. And I used a 0 0.02 millimeter layer height. And I also did a uh, print on my Elegoo Mars with some frozen resin, some castable resin. I did that at a lower resolution, and you can definitely see the layer lines in that. And I probably should have set that at 0 0.02 also. I would have gotten much more detail out of that. But this, this shows you the example that you can get when you sit and design your model correctly. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. And I, I will do more of these. And if you have any ideas or anything that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments section below. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.